it looks stunning, does it not? It makes me want that Final Fantasy IX remake to be a reality just that little bit more, but this will certainly do until that fateful day comes, because after three years, the Megori mod got an update along with the Memoria launcher. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about that. So with that all being said, what is up guys, Jen here, hope you're all doing well, welcome back to the channel. If you like what you are seeing, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to stick around with the channel, please hit that subscribe button. So in a nutshell, what is the Megori mod? What is the Memoria launcher? Well, these are mods for the Steam version of Final Fantasy IX to make Final Fantasy IX be as beautiful as you can see here and make it play as smooth as you can also see here with loads of things in between from music mods to gameplay mods to having Beatrix as a playable character and just overall overhauling the game to the point where it's that little bit more difficult they've added a few things in that were cut from the game and it can be an overall good time and just a fresh experience to final fantasy 9 something that i really want to dive into and i'm talking about that alternate fantasy mod but let's focus on what you're seeing you're seeing a very different looking final fantasy 9 but it's looking very familiar at the same time time this is the Megori mod 9.0 and we're going to go over what that brings to the table because it certainly came out of nowhere but nobody's really complaining they've gone and upscaled and re-rendered all of the backgrounds aided by stable diffusion whatever that may be but it's mixed with the original result and you have these glorious ai upscaled backgrounds and they look fantastic They've reworked the battle backgrounds, so all of those 3D models in the backgrounds of the battles are going to look even sharper and nicer. They've redrawn many of the layer edges, so all of those maps that you go across where there might be some blades of grass that you kind of go behind, they've been reworked so they kind of just feel more natural to the upscaling of the pre-rendered backgrounds. They've improved most of the lighting. The animated textures have been upscaled and on monsters and NPCs, they've rework some of the FMVs to transition nicely straight into the gameplay and they've fixed many visual bugs that they've had in the past and I will say no more I, I think the footage certainly does justice for itself but there's a few other things you probably noticed that look a bit different the fact that the models here have that kind of cartoony look that's because of the memoria mod comes with a few enhancements as well you can upgrade the gameplay both battle and on field to 60 frames per second and it's never looked better you can also do what i've done here you can have that cartoony looking character models for all of the main characters, the NPCs, and even the enemies. Basically anything in the game that is a 3D model. You can switch this off, you don't have to do what I did here. This is what I feel looks the best, but you can give it a more of a realistic feel. You can give it more of the, just a vanilla feel. There are many other cheats that have been installed just to kind of enhance the gameplay even more. Again, there's various gameplay mods and alternate fantasies. One of them, I want to dive back into Final Fantasy IX and play that so I can play as my game or Beatrix. But here are some other features that have been developed in Memoria since 2021. Like I mentioned, the high frame rate has been increased all the way to 120. So if you've got one of those monitors that can support that, you're going to have an overall good time. They've rehauled the mod manager and downloader and the launcher itself, so it's easier to use. And a lot of you may be asking, well, Jen, how do I install this? Just go over to the website that I've got in the link below and the rest is history. Click on the installer. It will do everything for you. Launch Final Fantasy IX on Steam and then the world is your oyster. But other things that they've done as well is that they've stabilized the camera. You can add any font you want so it doesn't have to be the PlayStation 1 font. You can add anything that you've got on your computer. They've added anti-aliasing and texture filter there's a new audio engine you can swap out tetra master for triple triad or you can have a combination of both and play tetra triad and increase or decrease the randomness of that mode there's new cheats like i've added there's 16 by 10 widescreen support for those that have those pretty damn wide monitors there's ui improvements 
to have an instant load when you go into the menu or when you go into battle and skip the battle swirl. There's much more cleaner edges with the 3D objects. There's so many more modding possibilities. We know that the Echo S is being worked on. Throwing that in there with this is just going to give it so much new life. You can turbo the dialogue and combat just with a button press. You can go into a model viewer and look at every single 3D model effect and texture in the game. The experimental model shaders of which I've used and I absolutely love. And you get the disc change images. So if you want to reminisce and remember what it was like to change a disc, it will have that little image saying that you're going over to like the disc two part of the game. They've also fixed some bugs that have been present in Memoria and the Megori mod as well. And this for me as well, diving in for the first time has been a treat. It runs so well, it runs so smooth, and I just want to share it with you all because we're all clamoring for that Final Fantasy IX remake, and this is, again, certainly something that we can do in the meantime. For those that have installed the mods and have played the mods, I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. If you've played Alternate Fantasy, let me know if it's worth diving into. I'm highly considering it. I want to return to Final Fantasy IX, and if this does the deed, then I'll go with it no problem at all but that's about it guys just shouting out the Megori mod and the memoria mod launcher because these are pretty insane changes and again it came out of nowhere i appreciate you watching please get involved in the comments section below hit the like button if you've liked what you've seen subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around and until next time i'll catch you on the flip side